Hi guys. Okay, so <laughs> I go through the time and effort of doing this little uh, developer series of videos and then kind of realized that uh, you really don't have anything really uh, on hand to kind of test this stuff out. <clears throat> so I figured I'd uh, take some of the epic free animations and uh, make a care package uh, that is uh, designed to specifically work with the uh, with the uh, Genesis 3 framework. <clears throat> with a, a little bit of modification so I'm going to show you how to go about to making use of this packet care package which I will uh, place a link to the package in the description down below so uh, let's get uh, the show on the road by first loading up uh, um, Bath Studio so we can get our uh, our base character model now give it a second or two and uh, we'll go to our figures section here and we'll find Genesis 3. Now the animations will only work on Genesis 3 so don't uh, do Genesis, Genesis 2 or Genesis 8. And we'll do the male. Uh, you could do the female if you wish. The process is still the same or you could do uh, a couple of different characters and the animation will work on any animation or any character that you uh, import to uh, play around with the uh, what has been provided. You could also, uh, if you wish, uh, follow along the uh, tutorials on uh, Epic's webpage about how to uh, make the character move around. Now, uh, included in the uh, package will be the uh, the free set as well as the uh, third person set that has been retargeted to use make use of this Genesis uh, 3 framework. Now, as we mentioned time and time and time and heart following it and everything else, uh, first thing we want to do is switch from high resolution mode to base unless of course you have a use for a high resolution character you know if you're doing some videos and what have you now keep in mind this is totally legit as uh, all we're going to be doing uh, really is uh, is uh, but all I'm doing is giving you uh, targeted animations and then it's up to you to go out and and uh, get that studio and get the character and plop it into uh, Unreal 4 which is per perfectly legit for the purpose of uh, uh, you know testing it and uh, re making uh, uh, renders you can render as as many different images out to your heart's content you can make videos and uh, all that sort of good stuff it's just that when you get to the point of uh, wanting to distribute your game for the purpose of selling it then that's the time you have to start worrying about the interactive licensing requirements but uh, for this purpose here as I mentioned the tool that you want and will ma be making use of is the uh, joint editor now you can add joints if you wish if you want to also add IK joints and what have you that uh, that's a possibility too as well but uh, keeping things simple we'll go to edit and then we'll go to rename node and then we will change this node name here which is the uh, local node for this character to root which matches the uh, naming convention that I used for the animation as for the root requirement so if you leave it uh, Genesis 3 male or Genesis 3 female it's not the um, animation will probably not work unless of course they've uh, made a, any kind of re re recent update now we'll go ahead and export it now if you have all the more targets and this and that and everything that goes along with it you can obviously uh, export those as per the uh, video series that I did um, and carry on from there uh, using the uh, provided animations which are the uh, uh, available e even then as uh, part of the uh, third person template as well as the free set so uh, you got both of them to play around with and follow along to uh, along with the uh, tutorials that uh, uh, that epic has on their on their um, website or in the launcher to uh, make the, our little character here run around uh, with some uh, simple inputs okay so we uh, need to save this out to uh, as you see I already kind of did a test thingy here so I'll go ahead and save it and everything is done and we'll go accept and come on <coughs> does take a bit of a while okay so the only difference that we made from the base uh, character is renaming the node to match up to our animations so now we want to uh, I'm going to go to my uh, scrap folder here and load in 
my test bench, so kind of, sort of, and uh, I'm going to set up here for the holder here to grab the Genesis 3 mail um, base that uh, I've uh, exported out. Okay, got a blank directory, nothing in it, uh, blank uh, whatever. So I'll go to content and we'll make a new folder. I like to use the actor. You can use character if you wish. It's just more of a preference. So all I'm going to do is grab my modified uh, Genesis 3 model. And since this is going to be the first import, I want to use the I want to use the framework that I just uh, uh, customized for this uh, purpose. In comes the uh, Genesis 3 mail. Now it's going to take a bit of a time to do so. So uh, maybe we'll take a, a little bit of a diversion here. Not much more uh, that we would really need from this. Uh, you'll get uh, you'll get the uh, the geometry if you wish, and then you just uh, follow along the uh, along with the series of how I demonstrated how to bring in various different uh, different characters that are dressed up and uh, what have you. And if you want, you can follow through by creating a control system or even uh, even some fancy blueprints that you know for IK and and. Uh, and etc. and hopefully hopefully it will work should work um, uh, and uh, the uh, thing is of course is uh, uh, the d difference between the epic rig and this setup is that uh, the epic rig, rig obviously has the IK bones that matches it up with the uh, animation sets that are available on their on their marketplace <coughs> but uh, they're not really necessary uh, you can use sockets and etc. The only thing that uh, I would say that the IK bones would be of help is if you, uh, you know, had uh, a significantly larger uh, geometry characters that you're you're bringing in, and uh, and uh, want to use the IK to uh, kind of cheat the uh, animation so that uh, it fits on larger characters. They're more or less. Uh, oops. They're more or less uh, uh, there as uh, an animator tool that may or may not be necessary for animation in general. So I'll go ahead and animation and uh, we'll bring, we no longer now, I kept uh, Death Studio up. Uh, as I mentioned before, Death Studio is a memory hog. Uh, up and uh, wants to take uh, control of every last little resources that they, that you have. Okay, so um, here's all the test animations that I made for this, retargeted and ready to rock and roll. So I should just be able to select the batch and batch process it. And as pointed out before, we want to select our G3 male skeleton and hit the import all and it should come in more or less uh, seamlessly <coughs> okay we'll let it import on screen so it'll give you some idea of uh, how long it's going to take for all this stuff to process now I removed the uh, I removed the IK joints so we don't get any uh, error mess shouldn't get any error messages and you should be able to play it uh, uh, quite easily <coughs> if you wanted to as I mentioned you could use uh, you could use the joint editor tools that are in uh, DAS studio to uh, create your IK point joints <coughs> to match them up and uh, use the, like for example I already have templates set up in motion builder to handle any kind of input uh, that I want from whatever animation file so even if somebody didn't uh, wasn't nice enough to include uh, the uh, source files within the uh, within their uh, animation package, it's not much of a sweat to uh, to export all the animations and then I just import them and retarget them in uh, in Motion Builder to the uh, to our custom rig, <coughs> so it's available. Uh, but uh, it doesn't really matter. Like some of the uh, animations I ac actually have in my collection, have uh, I, I just left them as uh, as epic default.
because well, it doesn't matter when you when you when I uh, export the data out to uh, a, to store it in FBX format, it uh, it gets left with the uh, the character rigging left onto it, and uh, when I uh, hit the save, all it does is it exports the uh, the animation data applied to the uh, to the um, characterized rig, and most times it just uh, doesn't require the uh, the base uh, rigged the base rig uh, animation because every time you bring it in you just plot it back down to the base rig anyways oh yeah okay so we do have some weird animation uh, error messages but big deal okay so here we are this is what you should ultimately see at the uh, end of the, this process so if we go new level and we'll select this one here you should be able to just drag and drop the clip in and it will use the uh, genesis whatever genesis form that you set up to be the uh, the base default mesh we hit play and there we go we've got rise uh how about run we have a uh, third person run play that should look familiar Okay, that's it um, so uh, I'm going to throw in um, the uh, facial uh, animation that uh, I did up uh, a while back just for for giggles <clears throat> so you can play around with facial animations and see how that's uh, going to work out for you using per layer uh, uh, bone uh, uh, bone layering in uh, in Unreal 4 make a small little uh, animation blueprint and you can have uh, the character running but uh, talking at the same time by layering the animation onto the uh, jaw joints and, and what have you experiment with that to get a better idea of how that will work should work fine because it is uh, it is uh, cluster uh, based animations and, and to avoid any kind of uh, conflict with say for example uh, at the mark targets that I possess are uh, commercial available and has to be purchased versus uh, somebody's ability to uh, make their own set so uh, hopefully the, the idea here is to uh, hopefully motivate uh, anyone interested in doing blueprints to you know maybe do maybe do uh, both uh, a Genesis 3 uh, using root as the uh, master node name at by uh, anybody who's using uh, that, uh, that studio as their uh, character development tool of choice can just plug and play their uh, their uh, as uh, as I demonstrated their high detailed character models just to kind of maybe even walk around inside of the environment and uh, maybe even have a bit of a crossover into the uh, that does uh, uh, does uh, 3d uh, marketplace uh, as I kind of hinted at uh, Unreal 4 sure has four million seats <laughs> that's pretty darn impressive but uh, I, I think uh, Daz 3D would significantly have more because uh, of the fact that the only number that I have that uh, that can be um, used as a base is that the Victoria Force had over 4 million downloads. So uh, uh, that was many moons ago, and I can only assume that since then uh, more downloads have uh, actually occurred. So uh, there you go, guys. You have some toys to play with uh, to actually take the stuff I've... Uh, I've uh, been putting out as uh, information in general and actually get some hands-on uh, play around with it make up your own blueprints and uh, have uh, a merry old time okay uh, I guess that's enough see you guys